Hello, ladies and gentlemen. There's a new 4 star selector for the Trailblazer Parlor Car event, and the choices are Mutsu, Misha, Chei, and Lynx. Let's go through all the idols, how good they are, and in general, which you should pick. Let's start with Lynx. Lynx is a sustain that you get for free from clearing perfection, so at a minimum, if you pick her, you already have her E1. She's a healer that's pretty cut and dry. The unique thing that she has is a party wide 1 debuff cleanse on ultimate, and her skill grants an aggro increase if you're a destruction or preservation character. She has continuous healing that has a near permanent uptime to top off her defensive capabilities. At a baseline of E0, the most value you have of Lynx is that she's miles better than Natasha since she has some purpose in Yunli and Clara teams. To talk about her Eidolons on E1, she increases outgoing healing on half HP allies, it's whatever. E2 makes her skill resist 1 debuff, which can be great for predictable crowd controlling enemies like the Aromaton or Aventurine. E4 is an okay attack boost, E6 is a max HP boost for safety or offense for blade, and some effect res to prevent CC on your counter characters. Overall, you won't see much in getting Eidolons for Lynx, since her main role is a sustain that gives you an aggro increase and she's fine enough at that on E0. E2 is probably her best stopping point for the price, but since Lynx is free and a sustain while the others are damage dealers in this selector, she is the least valuable among all of these characters in terms of Eidolons, especially if you already have Gallagher, Aventurine, or Lingxia. Next is Misha. Misha is a DPS that drives off heavy SP usage to have massive ultimate damage. He is a hyper carry by design, but his current best team is Super Break because Misha surprisingly has really high toughness damage and the fact that hyper carry has not had many good updates in the previous recent patches. Sunday will help him, but not really enough to make him feel noteworthy, honestly. His E1 increases his ultimate hits for every enemy on the field, making him better for AoE content. His E2 has a small defense red debuff, it's cool for super break. E4 has multiplier increases for each ultimate hit. E6 gives ultimate a damage boost and recovers one skill point if you use it. As a hyper carry, you would be fine enough for E4, but for super break, giving a skill point can be useful if you have Ling Sha to use more skills for super break damage. The unfortunate reality is that at this point, in Misha's own best team, Ling Sha out damages Misha, and Shui blows him out of the water in super break teams anyway, and any team that he has, which actually shows the absolute state of Misha. I would put him second with Lynx in the lowest of value, but in the future they may build freeze meta, which he uh, is actually quite good at freezing, so maybe one day, but I can't recommend him at this point in the game compared to the two characters left. Next is Shui. Possibly my favorite character design wise, she is my wife, don't worry, I, I won't be biased. Shui is a hybrid crit break DPS. She has a follow up that she does depending on her toughness damage dealt and when allies do any toughness damage at all. She converts break to damage, so her crit actually isn't that bad. Of course you could run her hyper carry too with Sparkle and Sunday once he's out. Super break is her general best team, but she can be used in Fei Xiao teams. But that's mostly because Fei Xiao could carry Shui's damage and doesn't show Shui's real power, but she's fine enough I guess. And because of Super Break, her Eidolons before E6 kinda got less valuable. E1 is a very tiny damage increase. Shui is already swimming into 100% damage, so 40% more damage on one ability is nothing. E2 is a quality of life, but Shui's biggest weakness is that if there is no quantum weakness, her performance drop is unbearable because talent where most of her multipliers are doesn't proc much even with this Eidolon. That you'd not be seeing this much at all. If I were to compare, using Shui on non-quantum weak enemies is like using Firefly without Harmony MC. It's that bad. E4 is a break effect stat stick, which was good before Harmony Trailblazer. But these days, Shui caps her break effect passive pretty easily with them now, so it's a little bit less relevant than it was. E6 is a pretty huge increase, around 12% overall team DPS from E4, which is quite high. This is because her talent can proc so much with E6, and most of Shui's multipliers are on her follow up attack. Shui was free for Apocalyptic Shadow, so you're fishing for Eidolons here. And unfortunately, unless you're one step to E6, I can't really recommend Shui. It's good that her best team is one of the cheapest in the game, which 
such as Super Break. But the problem is that Shui is quite old now. And March 7th, The Hunt, who was given for free, does Super Break with better numbers and less hassle because she can take Ling Xia or Gallagher's element. She's okay, I guess, for driving Jade in Pure Fiction, while March may struggle with that, but not anything as impressive as Herta or Himiko, and, you know, one of these is free and one is standard. There are still some situations where Shui is better than March 7th, but because of her weakness niche, there is a lot more situations where Shui is just worse than March 7th The Hunt. Shui does get Fugue, which is probably one of her biggest buffs ever since she came out, along with Harmony MC. And Fugue is really good with her, but, but if you didn't like Shui, then I doubt you'd like Shui now with Fugue. And unfortunately, the power creep has caught up to Shui. And while she is a fun luxury pull, you definitely don't need her, thanks to March 7th The Hunt, from a resource perspective. Lastly is Mutsa. Mutsa is a follow-up attacker. Using his skill makes him disappear from the turn order and the battle. And every time you hit the enemy he used skill on, he reduces town stacks and does follow-ups. He comes back to the field when that reaches zero, and bam, he does a lot of follow-up attacks. Mutsa's niche is simple, but it really, really works. Because unlike Shui, who pretty much takes takes all the damage distribution in her teams, Mozza can pair well with really strong damage dealers to do more damage than Mozza does, while Mozza is carrying his own weight. This makes Mozza's overall team DPS compared to Shui much higher, even though Mozza himself doesn't deal as much damage as Shui. Characters like Fei Xiao, Ratio, Robin are all very strong and give him a massive DPS increase. He's basically a character that is weaker than the sum of his parts, which isn't a bad thing, because Star Rail is a team game and the sum of his parts are really really strong. At E0, he's already better than E6 March 7th and E6 Shui in Ratio and Fei Xiao teams, so if you have those at all, especially with a Robin, then just get him. E1 gives him energy on follow-up attack and wave start. In some teams, this doesn't really matter since Mutsa has situations to stall and use basic before Robin's ultimate. The overall DPS increase isn't that high either way. His E2 is his best Eidolon, it's just a good crit damage stat stick and provides the highest spike at an early price. E4 is okay too, just a general damage boost. E6 actually isn't that big of an increase, the base multipliers of his follow-up aren't that low to where this is that big of a deal. I definitely recommend Mozza if you do not have him and leave him at E0. His Eidolons too are pretty good, past E2 they aren't really useless, it wouldn't hurt to have more Eidolons on Mozza. Overall Mozza is the most valuable character in the selector, his teams do outshine Shrey, simply because March 7th is a free character and works great with Mozza. Even a team like Mozza, March 7th, Asta, Gallagher outdamage Shrey, Pela, Harmon MC, and Gallagher. Even as a cheap player, you should go for Mozza. And as a ping player, if you have the tools like Fei Xiao and Robin, he scales much better. So yeah, that's the 4-star selector in a nutshell, just a, just a quick little review. If you're not going for Mozza, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Unless you're a Shui fan, which is based I'm in your camp. Or you're just fishing for a collection purposes but i hope this helped you guys out with the four star selector and the value of all these four star units i'm definitely picking up mozza i want more of his idols and i recently used him on moc and had a lot of fun with him but uh let me know what you guys are picking and i'll see you later bye i'm making a challenge by the way when 2.7 releases i'll be making an eu account and see how fast i can speedrun uh, all the three end game modes so yeah look forward to the video about that in like maybe two months or so but yeah see ya